Hi and welcome to the next tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn all about the coefficient of friction. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing you need to know about the coefficient of friction is that it's a measure of the amount of friction between two existing surfaces. So there are two different types of friction that you need to worry about and understand. The first one is static friction and this is where the object remains at rest until the force of static friction is overcome. And you also have kinetic friction and this is the frictional force that resists the motion of a object. So basically if the object is already moving or not. So we're going to try and answer this with a question. So the question states, a force of 20 newtons is required to get a 5 kilo box to move across the floor. What is the coefficient of friction between the box and the floor? So the first thing that you need to know is you need to know your equations here. So what we have is we have uh, the first part of the equation, which is the force of friction, and that's measured in newtons. Then you have this symbol over here, which is the symbol for mu, and mu is the coefficient of friction. And then you have your final part of the equation, which is the normal force. Also, you will need to know how to calculate weight, which is mass times gravity. So the first thing that we'll have to do here is we're gonna create a free body diagram to actually solve this equation. So to do that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with my surface. All right, I'm going to have my box here. There is the center of mass. And then I'm going to list down everything that I need. So firstly, we need to calculate the weight. And this is going to be mass times gravity. All right, then we need to calculate the normal force. All right, and so due to Newton's third law, where every action has an equal and opposite reaction we know that it's going to be the same as this figure down here then you have the force required to move this object and get it going and that's going to be 20 newtons and then you also have the same thing on the other side so this is going to be our friction force and this is going to be 20 newtons so now that we have all of that listed now what we can list down is what we know and what we don't know so this is the known and this is the unknown so what we know is we know that the friction force is equal to 20 newtons we know that the mass is equal to 5 kg and what we don't know is we need to calculate mu all right so now once we have that now we can start slotting everything into our equation so our equation is here so this is now going to be the friction force is equal to mu times the normal force okay so we will have 20 newtons is equal to mu and then what we are going to have is our weight over here so this is now going to be our mass so it's going to be 5 times gravity we'll just leave it as 10 for now and then what we need to do is now we need to work all of that out so we're gonna have 20 is equal to mu and then we'll say 50 and then what we need to do is to find mu, we will need to divide by 50 on both sides. So we're left with a value. So 50 and 50, that crosses off. And then you just have to divide these two values together. And mu then is equal to 0.4. Now the thing that you need to worry about this is that it is unitless. So you don't have to put a value there. The coefficient of friction is 0.4 and that's basically it. So now let's try that with another question. 
And so in this question, we have a block of mass, 50 kilos, rests on a horizontal surface. When a horizontal force of 175 newtons is applied to the block, it is on the verge of sliding. What is the coefficient of friction between the block and the surface on which it rests? So now to answer this question, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to start with our free body diagram. So I'm going to start here with our block there. That is going to be the center and we are going to work on the first value over here which is going to be m times g. We are also going to have our normal force as well. All right, so this is going to be an equal and opposite value to what we have down here. But we also have the force going in from the right hand side, which is going to be 175 newtons. And we are going to have the frictional force, which will also be 175 newtons. Okay, so now we have to find the coefficient mu. So what we can do is we can start with our formula. So we'll say the friction of force is equal to mu times the force normal. And so we know that the friction of force is going to be 175 and that is equal to this value over here. So it's going to be mass times gravity. We know that mass is 50 and we know that gravity is 10. So that's gonna give us 500. So we will find mu 500. And then all we have to do is just divide by 500 to find mu pretty much. So what we're gonna do is we'll do that as well. So 500 and 500, that will cancel out. And then we have 175 over 500. And therefore we have mu is equal to 0 0.5. Three, five. And again, it is unitless. So yeah, so that's about it. So anyways, guys, I hope you learned something in learning about the coefficient of friction. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.